Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we are back in here jumping in with my heavy hauler truck. Uh, I customized this truck to where it'd be designated for our heavy loads only. So if we have like very heavy, heavy load, very, very heavy loads, uh, it would be the job for it. I have a load over in this cat place right here. We getting in there, turn off our blinkers. Thank you truck for letting me go. And I think not sure where the trailer is. Oh, it's right there. Alright, trailer is right here. Pick her up. It's a loader. Uh, kind of like the one we did a little while for the first episode with the Mac. Um, but not really. Uh, it's a steamroller or something like that. Back it up. Blinkers. Gonna swing the truck. Alright, back it all the way up. Alright. Gonna bring it a little bit forward. Okay. And attach it. Alright, everything is attached, and we are going to get on the road. We are heading to, starting out in the middle of Kingland, Flagstaff, heading down to Tuscan. Haven't really discovered Tuscan before, so this will be fun. Um, but yeah, we're going to get on the road. I'm using uh, a new recording software to try and record American Truck. Um... Because OBS has been lagging a lot for me lately, uh, dirt, especially ATS. Um, L when we're recording ASRP, it's not that big of a deal. Because it doesn't really lag that much, it just looks like it's lagging. Um, I'm trying to get like a better computer to record and make videos on. Um, but, aside from that, we're going to continue the trip. Out in pretty much really middle of nowhere. It's like a small town uh, in between Flagstaff and Kingman. Uh, so, should be fun getting on the 40. Swinging wide like this is a super big trailer. It's not a big trailer, um, so I shouldn't be swinging this wide. But it's okay. I think I'm gonna keep. I think after this trip, I'm gonna try and go into my trucks, and I'll show you guys like these two day cabs that I have. I have two day cabs, and I want to like sell one of them. Oh, uh, they're like day cabs. They don't have like the sleeper in the back of them. This sleeper's nice. It's got like wood interior and everything. Um, I'm gonna show you the truck, the two day cabs I have, and I want you guys to comment which one I should sell. I'm gonna end up selling one of them. I have two of them. I have an International and a Peterbilt, I believe. Um, selling one of them is probably the best bet. I have bought trucks. I have a Mac, a Kenworth, two Kenworths, and an International. I don't have a Peterbilt or a Volvo yet. Uh, I'm going to do a trip in a Volvo very soon, possibly next episode. Uh, we might do, like, an oil run. Because I, I would like to do, like, a tanker run, like that right there. Uh, I'd like to do, like, a shell or a Texaco run. Um, but, yeah. There's a rest stop ahead. I think we're doing pretty good on fuel. Let me check. Uh, doing oh, pretty good on fuel. Sleep, we're perfectly fine. Should be good. Speed limit is 60. We're going 55. 
sorry, speed limit is 75. We're on 60. We're looks like we're going to be exiting right here, probably taking back roads. Back road, two lane trucking. Going towards Prescott, Arizona, I believe. thing right there with the sun. A quick screenshot of that. And we are back on the road. In another national forest area. Home store, Sam's Club trailers. I got a realistic trailers mod. I already had one in place, as you guys could probably tell. I put another one in, cause so now we can get some more trailers. Now we're seeing uh, Ashley Home Store and stuff like that. truck. I don't really like the Lone Star look too much. I'm glad there's more trucks in the game that you can mess around with. I don't really like the Lone Star truck much, um, but I'll use it for an episode if you guys want me to, but I'm not really such a big fan of it, so I won't be using it that at a constant speed of about 50. Oh, there's like a creek down there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. Lower down a bit. Prescott National Forest. Near Prescott ish. I like these two-lane highways. They're nice. Is there like a truck coming through houses? Wow, that's weird. Oh, it's like a road between the houses. Oh, yeah, I'm swerving. I stopped looking around at things. I'm like too uh, insanely like amazed by all of this. Stop looking everywhere. We're 
doing pretty good on fuel still. I can kind of see the gauge right there. It's kind of blocked by the steering wheel, but it's okay. Uh, we're doing pretty good on fuel. That thing is insane. It's like GTA tractors on the road and everything. Alright, we're going to be getting on the 17 about south. I guess he's letting me go. I was slowing down for you, but okay. Alright, we're on the 17 right now. Never been on this road. Be quite fun. Cops in this game, like, bust people for going, like, five over. Um... And it's funny because this, the, like, AI cars and stuff, they go way faster than all the trucks on the highway. And, like, one time I was going, like, 80, and the speed limit was, like, or I was going 70, speed limit was 75, and these cars were just flying past me still. And it's like, these cops in this game must make a lot of money. Oh, this is a cool area with all the hills and everything. All right, we're going to get our cruise lights on. We're going to turn our headlights on. shot with a heavy loader. These hills are nice. Sunset in the background with the mirrors, that's cool. Nice pink sky, pink and purple. Kick up the speed a little bit. Kick up the speed a little bit. Lots of farms in this area. Cool. Okay, yep, coming to a stop in the middle of the road. That's a smart idea. I really didn't want to have to switch lanes like that, but people forced me to. Cut you off because of what you did. What town are we near? We're near some big city-ish. We are near LA? No, this is Phoenix. Oh, there's a truck dealership back there. Huh, eh, whatever. I think that's a garage. There was a Kenworth dealer or something. There's something back there. I don't think I've ever been into Phoenix, though. That's the thing. I don't think I've been into Phoenix. Maybe I have. I guess I have been into Phoenix. I just don't remember it. Hmm. Alright, how long we got? We got, gotta get through Phoenix, and we're getting on the 10. Transition to the 10. Uh, and then go into Tuscan. Might drive this way into Tuscan since there's like some thing that's a recruitment agency and then a dealership. We're gonna reroute it that way, um, so we can get the scenic route of Tuscan. All right, this is our exit. We're gonna head towards LA and Tuscan. 
probably going to be dead in this lane, because I think that's the LA lane. Yep, that's the LA lane. We're going this way. This is I like these interchanges in these near these big cities. Las Vegas had it. LA had it. Like these big interchanges with all the highways going up and down and over each other. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Going into a tunnel. Never been on this road before. Exploring as we go. This is cool. Nope, did not want to exit. Keep looking at my GPS and stuff. Pay attention. We're on a 10. Taking this down to Tuscan. Tus Tuscan? I think I'm possibly saying that wrong. Um, but hey, who knows. For me, I feel like doing, like, box trucks or, like, this type of load, you need, like, a sleeper cab for tanker drops. Like, if you're doing, like, a gasoline drop. I don't know. I like, I prefer, like, a day cab for that. I don't know why. I think I'll actually like keep my keep both my day cabs. Just keep the other one kind of basic because the other one is like super modded and customized. You guys saw it in the beginning of the video at the, when I bought the Mack truck. That one was like super customized and everything. Um, the other one I believe is not so customized, but I don't know. I'll have to take a look. Like, looking at the trailer, seeing what we're getting, sometimes the truck doesn't fit the trailer and I don't like it that much, but hey. Oh wow, there's a lot of lights up here. Get over, because I want to see what happened. Looks like an accident. Two fire trucks, two police cars, one, me one medic. Very nice. I don't have, like, random road... Whoa. I just engaged my parking brake in the middle of the road. That was not good. I accidentally hit space bar on my secondary keyboard. Uh, that was not good. Just came to a stop in the middle of the road. I didn't know that was a parking brake. Hmm. i have to start using that. Get back over. Doing a lot of night trucking lately. It's honestly not, it's not cool. Sorry, not was about to say. Uh, it's pretty cool doing some night trucking. I like doing day trucking a lot, though. You get to, like, really see your surroundings and see what's going on. Um, yeah. Bender bender. Yes, as I was saying, I don't have random road occurrences on that much. Like, it's not that high, it's about, like, middle. Um. But, yeah. What trailer is that? Trident Seafoods. Hmm. Never heard of that. I've mentioned the trailer before, I just never really knew that that was a thing. Right, where are we getting over? I don't know why that truck's in the third lane. But he is. Might be different in Arizona. Trucks are allowed in all lanes. I don't know. Definitely no. It's not that for Florida and Georgia.
truck. Pick up truck. Cruising down the highway. Cruising down the highway. Below two miles. I don't know how far we are from Tuscan. Probably not that far. Um, highway didn't seem that long. We'll find out what this exit is. I feel like a train. A train. Oh, that's a train. Yeah, that's a train. Wow, that's cool. That's very loud, though. I think that's Tuscan in the background. Not too sure. I'm gonna get over because I'm pretty sure this isn't my exit. Oh, Tuscan city limits. Okay, yeah, so we are in the city limits of Tuscan. This just isn't our exit yet. Continuing a little bit. Get to El Paso from here. That's cool. Advertisements. That's the first time I've ever seen those. It's pretty cool, though. Alright, we're gonna let the truck kind of cruise down to a slower speed. Actually, this is our exit. turn green and then we're gonna discover Tuscan because I've never been here right. the road swing the trailer a bit wide but it's okay do what you need to do to get the job done. I thank God I turned green. Trailers are just gonna be like stuck in the middle of the road. This actually looks like a neat little city. Tuscan discovered Copper State. Um. Okay. Wouldn't be an episode if I discovered a recruitment agency. Yeah, thought that's what it was. And there's a, probably a garage up this way. Wouldn't be a normal truck sim video if I didn't get into an accident. Live here, eat free. Suits, sweets for rent. I said suits, sweets. Wow, that's a nice city right there. Okay, well, no cars coming or for return. Thirteenth Street. This little park. It's cool. Cue a little park. All right, we're gonna be arriving at our destination here very shortly. See, we're gonna have to put the trailer. Soon as I come to a complete stop as well, decides to turn green. All right, this looks like a little industrial area of two Tuscan. 
gonna turn off our headlights so we don't blind any workers in the yard. Let's see, they want the trailer. Alright, they want it backwards too. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Try and back it up in first person. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to back this thing up in first person. I don't know why I'm not able to. Okay, got it in the area that we want it to be, pull forward a bit. Sloppy, we're not gonna do that. I'm trying to get this way. Just a bit that way and then this way. <laughs> Didn't mean to hit that. have the truck in the precise location that I want it. I just need the trailer completely good. Trailer completely straight. Start drifting a bit. Alright. Try and hit it one more time. Should be good. Ah, dude, it's drifting too much. It's not drifting. It's like going that single way way too much. go very very slow it should be good I right, just need to put it straight back off turn off the truck uh all right i think we got this pretty good uh considering how many times we had to redo it um we're gonna go ahead hit unload 
synchronizing with the trucks, and we did it. All right, excellent. Roll roller, road roller. That's what it was. Deliver to Flagstaff. Uh, time taken was 30 minutes. Not bad. Uh, fuel consumed 58 gallons. Not bad. And I've contreated, come treated, contreated, contreated, completed one World of Trucks contract. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this episode of American Truck Simulator. Um, wasn't that much of a long one, it was like 30 minutes. Um, wasn't that long, but we still managed to get the delivery done. Uh, even got XP for backing it in, so yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff, and yep, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.